history stretching back billions of years is now in the hands of NASA. They've recovered material from the Bennu asteroid. CBS News Miami Stetskown has more on what scientists in South Florida are saying about the piece of critical history. Has touched down. When the capsule from the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft touched down on Earth Sunday, this is called the void chamber. UM astrophysics grad student Alessandro Pekka was paying attention. That is super, super exciting. Pekka knows that the half pound of rocks and space dust collected from the Bennu asteroid and sealed could hold a lot of answers to some very big questions. Right now, we believe there are some sort of life out there, but we don't have any proof of that. And that proof can come from these materials that now we have. Do you expect there's going to be a moment where they're looking at, at some of this material and say, what the heck is this? We have nothing that looks like this. Absolutely. That's kind of the cool thing about a new, a, when you have a new mission that's bringing a new, a new, like a new window into the universe in some way, you know there are going to be discoveries that we can only guess at. This material is very smooth. Dr. Doug Roberts is CEO of Frost Science and an astrophysicist. He watched the landing. He tells us the material brought from outer space is pristine, not like the meteorites we study that have fallen to Earth. This one is melted and came through our atmosphere and was sitting around on the ground for a long time and interacting with our atmosphere, whereas the one there is, hasn't been changed in four and a half billion years since the solar system was formed. Dr. Roberts said it could help us understand how the Earth and our solar system were formed. It's so exciting to have a mission that goes to touch some place or explore some place we've never seen before. What's more, this is a mission that ignites the imagination. This is pretty big. This can change our perception of, of the universe, our role in the universe, because as a matter of fact, we are just a tiny little dot in a huge universe. Scientists will be able to study this for years to come, but 60% of the material that was collected is going to be held, so scientists at a future date can take a look with new technology. In Miami, Ted Scout, CBS News Miami. Can't wait till they open it up and take a peek. That's right, <laughs> and years from now when they have that new technology, even better. We'll be right back.